welcome to Tammy's Travels. Here I am, eagerly waiting for the Behrman Writing Workshop, and with it, my first flight in a very long time. But there's a little bit of preparation that needs to go into that before I go. The workshop has long been paid for and the plane booked, but there's still the matter of packing up everything that I need to take. No matter where you travel, when, or why, there will always be things that you need to keep with you. You may not need these things on a day trip, when you expect to be back home before nightfall, and what you need may be different from one person to the next, but everyone has something they will need for any trip that is overnight or longer. Toothbrush and toothpaste, for instance, or my particular necessities, medicine for migraines and allergies. But you also need to, as the saying goes, expect the unexpected. I've been dealing with some medical discomforts lately, so I'm also bringing along Aurigel and motion sickness pills in the hope that those discomforts won't interfere with my ability to enjoy the trip, and hoping that I won't need the medicine in the first place. Then there are the items you might need for that particular trip, necessities that take into account where you're going and when. I tend to be prone to dry sinuses, and the allergy medicine certainly doesn't help. This, combined with the fact that the workshop is being held someplace advertised as a desert region, makes nasal spray an absolute must. Likewise, we're talking about California in May, and I burn easy. Even for a weekend, I want some decent sunblock. And since we're talking about flying there, all of these medical products need to be kept in see-through plastic bags, the easier to let customs see what I've got. Next, there's the matter of packing clothes for the trip. The workshop only lasts for a few days, and I don't have enough time off from work to do a lot of exploring. But I do need something suitable for where I'm going, and buying clothes to visit California in May when I'm doing my shopping in the winter in Michigan was easier said than done. But I think I managed to find some decent options to choose from, and even found a swimsuit that can replace the one I wear to aqua aerobics when I get back. This, of course, doesn't include what I'll be wearing on the plane. Pajamas are less of an issue. Nobody's going to see me once I'm ready for bed, so a simple tank top and pair of shorts will be good enough. To save on space, these will need to be folded up and packed into plastic bags as well, and I'll want to try to compress all the air out of the bags before sealing them up and packing them away. But of course, we can't forget, this trip is for a writing workshop. The most important thing to pack is a computer to do my work on. I bought this little notebook specifically for doing creative work while traveling. I could probably do mo most of my work on my Android tablet, but there are some programs associated with my cameras that are Windows only, and one never knows when I might record something worth uploading right away, instead of waiting until I can get home to edit. Speaking of the cameras, I'd also need something to do in my free time. Time spent on the plane, time after the workshop is officially done for the day and before I go to bed, things like that. I'll want to choose a camera to take. I'd be a fool not to for a trip like this. I'll also want something to read. My Kindle, in the form of an app on my phone, ought to be sufficient, but just in case I can't use the phone on the plane, I'll want to pick a physical book to bring as well. Finally, there's the most important thing of all. Money. Be it cash or credit card, I'll need something with me for any unexpected expenses. Again, I'm not going to be gone long, but it will be long enough. One never knows what I might find to buy, whether it's visiting Albertsons for a few snacks at the hotel, going out for dinner one or more nights, finding a random souvenir that I just have to have or even deciding to try out some local activity before it's time to board the plane and head for home. If you'd like to see more of my journeys, then please toss a like or a subscription my way, explore my channel to see what other videos I've posted, might I suggest any of these, or visit my website, tammystravels.wordpress.com, to read about the things I've learned along the way. I hope you'll join me soon for another adventure, but for now, farewell and safe travels.